So we are working with a molecule that is well described in Parkinson's. It can only be a useful therapy as an infused product, and this is called apomorphine, the molecule. It's very similar to levodopa in its effect on the dopamine receptor, but it's a different sort of mechanism that it works with, but it's a similar product. And so what our technology enables is to take that molecule, that apomorphine molecule, and put it on our polymer backbone. And our guys, the scientific founders at Serena, pioneered the biocompatible polymer known as pegylation, polyethylene glycol, at a prior company. And so PAWS was engineered to do what PEG does well and do what PEG can't do. And so apomorphine is an example of a molecule that can't be pegylated. PEG can't be used for small molecules. It can only work for large molecules, mostly proteins. And so the good molecule, not so great product that I just described with using the example of levodopa, carbidopa, apomorphine, we can turn that product into a once a week sub-Q injection where the patient isn't wearing a pump or a tubing set 16 hours, they're not wearing anything. They're getting an injection twice a week for 10 minutes to 15 minutes. They're on that treatment. And then the drug device combo is designed to keep that Parkinson's patient in on state 24 seven where they never come off. So their symptoms are adequately controlled, well controlled, much better than the standard of care.